viewers i am sangeeta your maths teacher in my previous video we have already learnt about the lines definition of the lines and types of the lines in that types of lines we have only studied about the straight line curved lines horizontal line and vertical lines now still more types of lines were remaining those are like parallel lines intersecting lines perpendicular line concurrent line converging lines diverging lines were remaining so today in this video we are going to study about the remaining types of lines first of all i am going to tell the definitions of parallel lines now what are the parallel lines as for the definition we can see here when two or more lines don't meet or intersect at any point even at infinite what does it mean in when even they are extended at the infinite extent also they are not going to meet it means you can see the example if i take two lines suppose a and b and another line as p and q if i am going to extend these two lines on the either sides at any extent also they will never meet each other this line ab is not going to meet pq if even though we are going to extend it at any extent you can see the definition what is a parallel line when two or more lines don't meet or intersect at any point even at any infinity infinity in the sense you know what is infinity infinity means endlessly when we are extending these two lines endlessly on the either sides of these two lines also they are not going to meet each other so day to day life examples you can take here for the parallel lines like this here you can see the comb here comb you can see some strips in the comb they are not meeting each other and some more examples like you can see the edges of this stick like it is like a parallel line and some more examples i can give here a scale edges of this scale this is also an example for parallel lines and now we are moving towards the intersecting lines line that cross over one another what are the lines which cross over the one another means here you can see with an example see if i take a line d and f some more lines i am going to draw here like here r s and here one more line i j you can see here the line d f and r s and i j you can see that the lines that are crossing over one another this line is also crossing on the line df and now you can see that ij is also crossing on the line df it here the lines they are crossing on one another this type of lines can be called as intersecting lines they are also having some common points okay these type of lines are called as intersecting lines now one more exam type of line is concurrent lines what are concurrent lines here you can see with an example and now first we will see the definition two or more lines that intersect at one common point you can see with the example then you can understand it easily here if i take one line r and s yes, one more line i will take like this p and q another line i will take e and f so here you can see the three lines totally those are p q r s and e f these are three lines they are meeting at one common point so this type of lines having there only one intersection point called as common point those type of lines are over, overlapping or um, they are not overlapping sorry they are crossing each other with a common point such type of 
lines are called as concurrent lines but what is the difference between intersecting and concurrent you can see here here in intersecting lines lines cross over one another and here also they will cross over one another but here there may be different common points with different lines crossing each other but here there are many of the lines crossing over one another then also having only one common point such type of lines are called concurrent and the intersecting lines you can see there may be different con common points okay here for rs and df common point i can take it as g and for ij and df i can take h as common point but here in concurrent lines i can take only one common point for all the three lines as o so here you can see the sieving pan here you can see some thin lines which are crossing on one another these are the example for intersecting lines okay like this in day to day life we can take many examples for intersecting lines and also concurrent lines now we come to know what are the parallel lines intersecting lines and concurrent lines okay now after knowing these all three lines still there are some lines called as one more line is perpendicular line what are perpendicular lines lines that intersect at an angle of 90 degree or at a right angle then they are perpendicular to each other now what are the lines that are called as intersecting at 90 degree exactly they must intersect at 90 degree or they must intersect at right angle now for example we can take here if i will draw one line a b then one more line should intersect it at exactly at the point where 90 degrees are formed on all the four sides here you can take it as pq here you can see that the point o i can name here o and here there is a intersection point where everywhere they are perpendicular if i take a o q here also we get 90 degree if i take a o p here also 90 degree and q o b also 90 degree p o b also 90 degree it means that here the two lines ab and pq are intersecting at the point o with exactly forming 90 degree angles that are right angles this type of lines when they intersect by forming 90 degree angle such type of uh, lines are called perpendicular lines day to day life examples like if i take two roads which meet in a circle here they also are perpendicular with uh, two roads meet at a circle this is also an example and one more example you can take as a street light pole you can see such type of street light poles where here here just you can see 90 degree so these here you can see the two lines they are perpendicularly bisected or per perpendicularly intersected by this examples you can understand what are the perpendicular lines lines that intersect at an angle of 90 degree or right angle then they are perpendicular to each other or the such type of lines are called perpendicular lines coming to know that perpendicular lines there are again some more type of lines like transversal lines and diagonal lines now before going to diagonal i want to say about transversal a line that intersect at least two other lines at least two other lines if the 
line intersects then that type of line is called as transversal line example here is if i'll take two lines e f and c d these are the two lines if i'm going to draw one line which is intersecting these two lines okay this type of line is called as intersecting lines i can name it as p q here you can see the red line p q it is called as the transversal line the line which is intersecting two or any more number of lines more than two then such type of line is called as intersecting line such type of intersecting line is only called as transversal line now one more type of line is diagonal line here diagonal line it comes in the polygons what are polygons we'll further study it but now as uh, before going to study about the polygons you know already what are the shapes okay in shapes you can see square square rectangle and etc now to know about the diagonal lines we have to draw some shapes now i can draw here a square okay now it is our square a b c and d here you can see the vertices a is one vertex b is one vertex and c is also one vertex d is also one vertex so there are four vertex which are in this shape when we are defining the diagonal lines lines that join non adjacent corners of the polygon non adjacent in the sense they are not side by side here a is beside to b and b is beside to c c is beside to d d is beside to a if a, a what are the adjacent sides of a vertex are b and d which is non adjacent vertex for a is c so i will name here which are the non adjacent vertexes non adjacent vertexes vertices so singular we say it as vertex and plural it comes like vertices for a non adjacent vertices vertex is c and for b it is d i am talking about non adjacent vertex now if i join a to c it is a diagonal and if i also join b to d or d to b this is no diagonal for this shape like this you can take any other shape wherever there are non adjacent vertices are joined or non adjacent corners are joined each other then they are only called as diagonal now here the diagonals name i can say you diagonals are ac and bd by this you can come to know what are the diagonal lines diagonal lines are the lines that join non adjacent corner of the polygons here i have explained you with the square so we can take an example rectangle and join the non adjacent vertices and just can find out the diagonal lines you can do it for practice here it is a rectangle c q r s you can just find out the diagonal lines in this go towards converging lines what are converging lines two or more lines coming together towards one common point what are the lines called as converging lines here with an example i will explain you if i take one common point if the lines are coming towards the point then such type of lines are called as converging can you see here the arrow mark they are towards the one common center point so such type of lines are called converging lines 
टू और मोर लाइन्स कमिंग टूगेदर टूवर्ड्स वन कॉमन पॉइंट वन कॉमन पॉइंट यू कैन सी हियर देर आर मेनी लाइन्स सराउंडिंग टू दिस कॉमन पॉइंट दे आर कमिंग टूवर्ड्स द कॉमन पॉइंट सो दे आर गेटिंग टूगेदर टूवर्ड्स दिस कॉमन पॉइंट एंड सच टाइप ऑफ लाइन्स आर कॉल्ड एज कॉन्वर्जिंग लाइन्स आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग कॉन्वर्जिंग लाइन्स वी गो फॉर डाइवर्जिंग लाइन्स हियर डाइवर्जिंग लाइन्स टू और मोर लाइन्स मूविंग अवे और अपार्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम वन कॉमन पॉइंट हियर वन एग्जाम्पल आई शो यू हियर इट इज अ कॉमन पॉइंट इट इज एक्जैक्टली अपोजिट टू द कॉन्वर्जिंग लाइन्स कैन सी हियर द लाइन्स आर मूविंग अवे दे आर मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम द कॉमन पॉइंट so the arrow mark is away from the common point they are moving outwards so this these type of lines are called as diverging lines you can see one more time this definition to understand the diagram two or more lines moving away or apart away or apart away or apart in the sense they are moving outwards from the common point real life example you can see sun rays and for this converging lines you can take converging photography rays converging photography rays these are some examples i have given for converging and diverging lines you can also collect some more day to day lives for to understand more and more about the type of lines in our day to day life this video i want to recall you that what things we have learnt this video parallel lines intersecting lines and concurrent lines also we studied about perpendicular lines we also studied about transversal lines and diagonal lines also studied about converging lines and diverging lines okay at the end of this video we have come to know what are the types of lines and in my next video we are going to learn about the line segments after studying the lines and types of lines we are going to study in next video is line segments okay thank you thank you for watching keep watching my channel subscribe and don't forget to press the like button keep watching thank you